guys, Rambly Bob here again. So I have a quick fix for uh, a, a neat little drone thing. It's called a uh, a GameSir controller, and uh, it's a little bit older one. They have newer ones out there, but I really enjoy it, and I like it a lot. Um, you know, you put your phone in there, and then you can control little, little tiny drones like this where you don't have to connect via Bluetooth. Like this one, you can go right to the controller, and then you put your phone right on top, and then you can connect uh, this one through Bluetooth. But if you're flying something like the Tello, um, if, if you fly Bluetooth, it kind of interferes with the Wi-Fi that's in there because you have two kind of conflicting signals that are very close to each other that kind of don't like each other. And, you know, they uh, they tend to fight. So the, the, this one is about the game, sir. This video is about the game, sir. So I've had this a while, as I said. There, there's no battery in there. Um, so the, the, these, the simple thing is, is uh, it, it's a fix for this thing, okay? This is a USB-C that's here. And over time, uh, all ports, you know, they kind of get funny. They kind of get a little uh, maybe corroded or something like that. Or, or uh, you know, they just don't seem to work as strong as they should or good as they should. So I'm, I'm going to show you how this one is. And then I'm going to show you a fix for it. Okay, this is called the ultimate fix. All right, so you, when, when you put your phone in like that, it's supposed to, as soon as you turn it on, you're supposed to basically get um, access to the phone right away. Now notice that uh, it, it doesn't have access to the phone right away because see that little area right here? It's supposed to light up blue. And if it doesn't light up blue, well, you don't have access to your controller. I want to show you a secret. So if, if you pull, watch this, if you pull this side up just a tad bit, okay. Now, did you notice that? See that little blue came on? Watch, I'll let it go. Okay, now notice that went off. Now I pulled it up just a little bit. Now notice that blue came on. See, I'm pulling up this side away from the case. So I'm kind of pulling it up. Now, what happens over time is, if, if you notice, uh, see that the blue's not on? If you lift this, see all that play that's in there? See how much you can go up and down? I'm going to show you how to ultimate fix this thing. It's pretty cool. Let me turn this down a little bit here. And... Um, then you can get a better view. So basically, if, if you take a, uh, a a piece of paper, this is one of those, um, let me show you. It's basically a little, you know those little cards that you write on? You know the little card, the index card? So what I do is I fold it in half, and then I fold it up, and then I fold it up, and then I fold it up. So basically you have this little flat piece of, almost like, um, I don't know, uh, like a wedge kind of thing. And then what I do is I, I, I set that right there, very close to the uh, uh, USB-C connector. And now what happens is when you plug this in, it's hard, it's, it's, it's tough to get it in there, guys. But uh, you just got to kind of sit it in there. And when you squish it in there like that, and you go like that, now notice that blue light stays on. See that? No, no matter how much you wiggle and shake it, well, you, you can see that, that wedge kind of thing right there. Okay? So what happens is that's doing that pull up, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that in there, that uh, that little USB, it's kind of tilted just a hair bit like that, like at an angle. Well, that's holding that up there and wedging it. Because if you ever have like a controller disconnects, the problem is, is this uh, uh, port, is it's letting go, right? It's like, do you guys remember back in the days with the, uh, the old uh, Nintendo, you know, the 8-bit NES, and you used to pick up the cart and go, <laughs> and you blow with it and you put it in. Well, what happens is those contacts just kind of lose connection over time. Or they get a little bit, um, uh, a little corroded. You know, they're only copper contacts, so you know that that corrosion sets in over time. And then you know something like this, you're always outside flying my drones. So notice that um, I, I have full control now. So if I go like this, let's see here. Let me put it at the phone here. Uh, let me go in here where I can move something. Okay. Now no, notice that. Uh, oop, where is it? Okay, there it is. Now no, notice that. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm going the wrong way, guys. Um, notice up here. See, I have the full control, though. And before, I, I didn't have that, guys. I didn't have that because, obviously, this controller just it just didn't want to connect anymore. It's getting a little old. Uh, but now, notice with that secret little simple, and, and it's free, guys. It's a free fix to make your GameSir controller work again it's a very very simple fix but boy it worked for me all right guys keep flying your drones or your video games or whatever you're doing with your game sir and i hope you guys ramble on and i'll see you again at rambling bob reviews all right bye guys <laughs>